As a nation, we are justly proud of our resources. The people who produce our food. The towns and cities where they live. In event of war, enemies may attempt to destroy or disable our people. And our production by striking directly at the civilian population. Denied the products of our farms and factories, we could not wage war on any front. We can be attacked in spite of our excellent defenses. Attacks may be made in many ways, with bombs or with biological weapons. This might be one form of biological warfare. It could make people sick so they couldn't work. That's what it actually does, but you may have heard. There's a new poison. One ounce can kill all the people in the United States. Germ warfare can wipe out an entire city. Nothing could be further from the truth. Biological warfare? What do they expect me to do about it? It's not my headache. You're wrong. You had better find out the facts about biological warfare or BW. It can be aimed at you in your home, or at work, at your food crops, your livestock. Biological weapons can be divided into three groups, germs, toxins, and plant growth regulators. Some germs cause cholera, others cause typhoid fever, plague, and such diseases. Toxins are special poisons produced by other germs. They do the harm in diseases like food poisoning and diphtheria. Special plant growth regulators can destroy food crops, just as weed killer can destroy weeds. The public health nurse and the many other members of our public health system have been fighting nature's biological attacks for years. We have proved that our health and medical systems check the spread of infectious diseases. Our livestock and crops are guarded by a nationwide network of federal, state, and local agencies and experts. Government regulations assure the purity of many food products. But BW attacks can be made in spite of our health safety systems. Aerosols containing diseased germs could be used. These aerosols could be spread over large areas. Submarines could release aerosols near coastal cities. Specially designed germ-carrying bombs could be dropped. Enemy agents could contaminate the city water supply. How can we protect ourselves from BW attacks? Keep yourself and your family clean. Don't help germs by making things easy for them. Germs have trouble living in clean places. Enroll in a Red Cross home nursing course. Then if sickness does come to your home, you'll know what to do. Always report sickness promptly. And doctor, Mary's temperature is over a hundred. Good morning. Here's the news. Civil Defense Headquarters announced today that the sharp increase in the number of cases of illness during the last few days have led authorities to suspect that a biological warfare attack may have taken place. As yet, the cause of this outbreak has not been identified. Civil Defense Health Authorities recommend that you should take the following precautions. If such an announcement is made in your city, don't give way to fear. Just remember that scientists would already be working to control the outbreak. Probably some of the people in your neighborhood would become sick. Reports of the disease would start pouring into health and medical authorities. The number and location of cases would be plotted on a map of the area. Scientists would go to work immediately to identify the cause of the disease. Meanwhile, the outbreak would take on a definite pattern. There are important things you can do in your home if you are told a biological warfare attack has taken place. Be careful what you eat and drink. Canned and bottled goods are safe, but scrub them before opening. Packaged foods in cupboards and refrigerators are probably not contaminated. Boil or cook all exposed food before eating. 
Water used for drinking or washing after an attack must be boiled. Wash all contaminated garments thoroughly to remove germs or toxins. If your doctor recommends sending a member of your family to the hospital, cooperate. Local health and medical authorities would distribute instructions so that the outbreak of the disease could be controlled. Follow their instructions closely. If you are called upon for a blood sample, don't hesitate to give it. Blood samples would be extremely important in helping the scientists identify the germs or poisons. Health and medical authorities would identify the cause of the disease as soon as possible. The recovery of those already sick would be speeded up with the use of modern drugs. Mass inoculations might be necessary to keep the disease from spreading. This would require the cooperation of everyone. Remember, VW attacks can be made against food crops, livestock, and people. Our health and medical systems are the foundations of our defense against biological warfare. Our food supply is guarded by a nationwide network of federal, state, and local agencies and experts. If we are attacked with biological warfare, health and medical authorities will tell you what to do so that the disease could be brought under control. Cooperate with the authorities. Above all, don't listen to scare talk, rumors, or myths. Get a copy of this official booklet at the first opportunity. Read it and remember it. Do your part and we can successfully combat biological warfare. <laughs>